So somebody chose me to be their mom and I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Um, it's not really ideal timing. Definitely not prepared, but no one ever really is, but it's still pretty scary. <laughs> but uh, you are definitely about to change my life. But you chose me to be your mommy. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Sequoia Unique, and I'm back with another video, all right? For those who know, okay, it's been a while since I've been on here. It's been like six, seven months. Because I've been gone for so long, I do want to take this opportunity to kind of let y'all know what the heck has been going on in my life, right? It's been, it's been a journey, okay? It's, it's been, it's been crazy, all right? So, like I said, I just want to take y'all through the year up until now of what has been happening and what has been going on, just so y'all can be, you know, get updated and then, you know, we could just move forward from there, you know what I'm saying? Because a lot of things are about to change <laughs> for me, for this channel, okay for everybody that's involved okay so all right let's start with january okay january top of the year you feel me boom okay so i start off the year by actually getting promoted i did work as a program coordinator at a college and i used to manage three of their master's programs there right and so I guess, you know, they liked my work. They liked, you know, what I was doing, you know what I'm saying? I had been working for this this uh, college for about two and a half, three years by this point. And so in January, they decided to promote me to assistant manager. Okay, so not only do I still manage these three master's programs, but I also now manage four. So they added one and on top of that, And so that has been pretty cool. It's been, it's been an adjustment, I'd say, but for the most part, a lot of the work that I do, um, it's pretty much the same. Like it didn't take that long to adjust to my new workload basically. So super grateful about that. Shout out to my supervisors for advocating for me to get this promotion. And you know, shout out to me for actually doing the work to actually get this promotion, you know what I'm saying? So that was awesome. So ever since January, I have been working as a assistant manager now, check me out, you know. So that has been great. So that was January, right? And so February, if you don't know, February is my birthday month. Um, you know, I celebrated my birthday. I went out with some friends and stuff, so that was nice. And then at the end of the month, because my birthday and my boyfriend's birthday, um, is like two weeks apart so mine's is like mid-february and his is you know the beginning of march we decided to kind of do like a combined trip almost right and so we decided to take this opportunity to go on a family trip to aruba okay so he invited his mother and his sister and we four went to aruba to go celebrate mainly his birthday and his mom's birthday because they have the same birthday ironically so we went to aruba aruba was nice aruba was vibes okay it was our second time me and my my boyfriend's time being there so we already knew the places that we wanted to go places that we wanted to see you know things that we wanted to do so we kind of just planned the trip or rather he planned the trip <laughs> for all of us um and we kind of did a lot of the same things that me and my boyfriend did the first time that we went. Um, and the first time we went actually is when I had just finished or completed my presentation for my master's. So I had this like thesis that I needed to kind of like present. And so I did that via Zoom in Aruba. And so that was like the second day of our trip. So and we were out there for like four or five days. So that was awesome. So yeah, um, we went to Aruba. Aruba was nice. It was it was great. Like I think that we're gonna make Aruba like our, our family like vacation like spot to be honest. 
but it was nice it was cool it was vibes right and so after that y'all is where it really gets crazy so at the end of the trip everybody ended up getting sick for some reason i don't know what the reason was but like we all came back with like colds or like you know like just not feeling well like just bedridden and so at the end of our trip like i said everybody got sick i was sick for longer by march 10th you know we've been back for a while and so by this point my boyfriend's like yo like let's go to the like the urgent care to go see like what's going on with you because like you've been sick for way too long you know what i'm saying like i was like bedridden like i couldn't get up like i was very nauseous i was like I just couldn't eat like it was just bad for me I'm like I don't I, I'm not really the type that gets sick you know what I'm saying so all that was like pretty new for me so he knew that too so he's just like yo like what is going on with you like do you have COVID or something like like what what is what is really going on so we go to urgent care y'all and it's like a Sunday too so we go to urgent care and I go in the back you know with the nurse and he stays out in the front and so you know we do the whole routine they ask me like what's going on what's my symptoms i'm telling them they're like okay we're gonna just like you know do this like p test you know and we're gonna like basically like check to see if anything is like going on right so i'll never forget <laughs> i did the p test right um she i give it to the lady she leave and she come back like 10, 15 minutes later with the doctor. And that's how I knew I was like, oh, snap. I'm pregnant. And lo and behold, yeah, the doctor came in there and she basically confirmed. She didn't even really like say too much. She was just like, yeah, you're pregnant. Um, good luck. <laughs> For real. Like, it was really crazy. Um, so anyway, she, uh, she ended up leaving. She leave me with the nurse. And so uh, I'm talking to the nurse and I don't know, I just start like, I just start crying. I just start really crying. Like I, I couldn't even help it. It was just like involuntary. Like I think I knew that I was pregnant, but I didn't, but it's, 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 it's really crazy. Like I knew or I felt like I was pregnant. I was like, this is, this must be what it feels like to be pregnant. But it's nothing like having something confirmed out loud that just makes it hit much, you know, harder, you know? So I started bawling, crying, man. Relax, okay? Relax. Are so fucking red. <laughs> Relax, Usa. Okay. This is the moment I found out that I'm pregnant. So somebody chose me to be their mom, and. I'm feeling really overwhelmed. Um, it's not really ideal timing. Definitely not prepared, but no one ever really is, but it's still pretty scary. I'm at the doctor's right now. I just took the test and it basically came out positive. So there's that. I don't know if I should tell Chris right now or if I should tell him later. You know, if you're watching this, my, my child, you feel me? When you get of age, I guess. Just know you've made me feel very nauseous these last couple of days and it's, it hasn't been fun. So. <laughs> but uh you're definitely about to change my life 
but you chose me to be your mommy. And I wasn't like necessarily sad. It was just like, damn, like this is really happening. <laughs> like I'm really pregnant. <laughs> like, and I feel like if you know me in real life, like me being pregnant is wild. <laughs> <laughs> me being pregnant is like the last thing on anybody's like bingo card like it's not even on the bingo card it's just like this is just this is just that free spot you know what i'm saying like damn like that that's crazy that that's what that is but anyways yeah so i ended up finding out but um i didn't end up telling um uh, chris my uh boyfriend because he was interviewing around that time and I didn't want to distract him from preparing for his interviews. So I kept the secret for like another week, okay? So by this time, it's like late March. And it's so crazy that I went to the doctor that, that day because I had a doctor's a gynecologist appointment the next day. So like I told you, it was, it was a Sunday that I went to urgent care and the next day, literally, I had a doctor's appointment already lined up. So, um, yes, like I said, I had the doctor's appointment the very next day. And then she gave me all the pills that I needed, my prenatals and all the stuff that I needed and all the information that I needed to kind of get it get it going and by that point I was like six weeks six weeks pregnant <laughs> and literally after I confirmed that I started like the symptoms like ramped up like I was already feeling bad but I felt 10 times worse after like and that lasted for at least 16 weeks so I was six weeks so that lasted another 10 weeks <laughs> before like the symptoms started to like ease up so basically when I got in my second trimester is when I started to feel a little bit better, but whoo, baby, that first trimester was, was hell. I'm not going to lie to you. But anyway, so I didn't end up telling Chris right away. I ended up waiting until after he was done with his interviews because I didn't want to stress him out. And luckily that was like a week, maybe like a week and some change a little, uh, later. And so I ended up, um, how I told him was I had like this, I went to Target and I got like these materials. I got like the box and like. I got like a teddy bear and like a blanket and like I framed the picture of like the baby in my like in my tummy um and I think I got something else I think I got some like some little baby shoes and yeah and I put it all in a box and one day when he came home like after his interviews um I remember like he came home and I just gave him the box and I was like surprise and he was so elated, he was so happy. Uh, and yeah, it was a beautiful moment, y'all. So um, that's how he found out that I was pregnant, <laughs> that we were pregnant. <laughs> um, so that was, that was cool. So that was March, right? And so, like I said, like April, May, um, you know, I was really just going through it. Like I said, it was another 10 weeks before I started to feel a little bit better. And all the, throughout this time, like I'm still working, y'all. I'm still going to work. Luckily, my supervisors were super chill about me like staying home. And luckily, we ended up moving during this process too to like a place that was like way closer to my, my job. So I could literally just walk to work every day. So it wasn't like I was too far away either. It actually ended up working like very like just perfectly for us, honestly. So um, I was closer to my job. Chris was closer to his new job. So everything was great, to be honest. And shout out to my man for um, pretty much moving us out of our old apartment to our new apartment because he kind of did that on his own since I was pregnant. Um, so shout out to him, okay? Shout out to my man. Um, and so, yeah, so like I said, throughout this time, I'm still working remotely for the most part. My supervisor is really chill about me staying home and not really doing too much because they sympathize with me, like, you know, not feeling well during my first trimester. So, and, um, yeah, like as soon as I found out I was pregnant, like when I went back to work, probably like Tuesday, um, I let my supervisor know that, um, or at least one of them know that I was pregnant just so like there were no surprises. I told him right away, so he was just like super chill, 
super great. Shout out to my supervisors. Like I couldn't ask for better supervisors. Like honestly, like shout out to them. But anyways, so yeah, like I said, you know, my first trimester was terrible. Not gonna lie. Um, but in June or like late May to like June, early June, we ended up going to Jamaica. Okay. So we went to Jamaica, y'all, um, and it was under the pretense that we were going to Jamaica to basically go to my boyfriend's, like, niece's birthday party. She was, like, turning two, and we missed her first birthday, and <clears throat> she was having her birthday party in Jamaica. And so we ended up, um, you know, booking a flight and everything to go, like, celebrate her birthday, right? And so... Um, we flew out like a couple of days before we got like a resort. Um, I forgot where I'll insert the name, but we, we went to like some hotel. It was like maybe 40 to an hour away from Montego Bay. So we stayed there for like three days, um, before we got a ride to Kingston to go to like the birthday party. Now tell me why y'all. Tell me why, okay, I ended up getting engaged, baby, okay? I ended up getting engaged out there in Jamaica, and my man really, really did that, you know what I'm saying? <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, like, he really, he really, his whole engagement proposal was just so beautiful, and he really made it, like, a magical, special moment for me. So shout out to my man for just, just loving me just the way he does. Cause he really made me feel like a princess. I'm not going to lie. I'll insert like a, a clip, you know, somewhere, I guess, so you guys can like watch it, but. All right, y'all currently we're in this, uh, this car and our driver just got out and now he's on the phone. I guess we're lost or something, but we're like in this like alleyway kind of. Just waiting for him to come back, I guess. Uh, some people setting up over there. Um, hopefully we find out where we're supposed to be going. All right, he's finally off the phone now, so I guess he's about to come and give us some news, so. Let's see what he says. Yeah, hey, uh, oh. I'm going to have to give you a tour of the place because um, the thing is not ready. What call? Oh, okay. Care, right? So, so this is the Prime Minister's resident here. Um, happening down here so we're just going to walk okay so beautiful honestly like it was beach vibes we had like a, a guy who like you know plays with fire okay um it was like this whole like show um and then like will you marry me like 
was like fanned out with like fire <laughs> across the sand. I don't know. I don't know how to really explain it, but it was, it was, it was really, it was like, it was so lovely. Like, honestly, it was, it was beautiful. Like he really did that. I'm not gonna lie. So yeah, your girl is now engaged. Hold on. Let me, uh, Oh, so look, yeah, it came in like this little, like, little box or whatever, and he was like, will you marry me? It was so cute, y'all. It was so cute. It was, it was literally amazing. So, your girl is <laughs> no longer on the market, okay? He liked it, and he put a ring on it. So, yes, your girl is taken, all right? Wedding coming soon, okay? So, yeah. I got engaged in Jamaica, um, which was, like I said, beautiful. It was right by this waterfall too, like chef's kiss. My, my man really did that. He really did that, okay? So, yeah. So yeah, y'all, so, all right. Like, you know, I got the promotion, okay? <laughs> I got pregnant, <laughs> I got engaged, okay? So it's already a lot going on by June. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's really a lot, okay? The little birthday party was was cool. It was nice. Um, very much extravagant for a two year old. Hey, uh, Woo! Look, mommy. Take picture. You don't want it? Like, no, thank you. Yeah, right, take that. <laughs> there you go. Oh, okay. <laughs> there you go, mama. So that was beautiful and so yeah by this point like I said I found out I was pregnant now I'm engaged and so the next thing you know we planned a gender reveal okay we had to like do something to find out like what gender our baby was gonna be and so for that we ended up doing like a paint and sip okay so we did like a little paint and sip of course I was not drinking okay mocktails only for the mama okay period um but yeah so we planned a gender reveal and we invited like 20 to 25 of you know some of our closest you know friends and family and um yeah we like painted like some like beach painting and then at the end what we ended up doing was we ended up getting like this uh canvas off of etsy it was like a canvas where like you it comes with like glitter and the glitter is supposed to like stick to like the the painting of whatever the gender of the baby is and you know then you reveal it so i'll insert a clip here so you guys can see like what it was or like how how it happened but basically like i said it's a canvas of like an already pre-made picture we you know uh poured glitter on top of it and then you know the glitter is obviously covering the 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 picture that's on the canvas but once we like lift it up and like the glitter fell down and then voila so yeah, so we ended up finding out that we're having a baby girl, okay? We're having a girl. I'm actually excited now. It's not that I'm, I wasn't excited, but I wanted a boy and my boy, well, my fiance, he wanted a girl. So he got what he wanted, but I didn't necessarily get what I wanted. But I feel like I got what I needed. You know what I'm saying? So I think God really knew I needed a girl to kind of like tap into my femininity you know what i'm saying and like really be the mother that i never had for real for real you know so i feel like this is having a kid especially a girl is really gonna heal the inner child in me you know what i'm saying so i'm excited about that i'm excited about this journey i'm excited to you know to raise my little girl you know um and to to build a family um so yeah, uh, I, I can't wait, honestly. 
so the general reveal was great we ended up going out to eat afterwards and it was really a vibe so shout out to everybody who came through like we really appreciate you like y'all really held us down so that, that happened and maybe like i don't even know when that happened did that happen in june i think that happened like late june the general reveal um and so yeah i mean since that time honestly i've just been i've just been chilling you know like i said my first trimester was horrible uh but my second trimester was was pretty it was pretty chill it was pretty great um i'm not gonna lie even my third trimester so i just turned uh i just turned nine months like uh i just became nine months pregnant yesterday um which was a friday it was like what september what september 4th is when i became nine months pregnant so i really only have one month left to go to be honest and besides my first trimester it's been it's been chill for me um i haven't had that much cravings to be honest i haven't had really cravings at all to be honest with you um I would just say that I just feel, especially now, I just feel heavy. Like, I just feel like there's something, there's something inside of me. You know what I mean? I just forever just feel bloated. But for the most part, like, and besides me, like, walking and getting tired easily, like, just me doing anything, <laughs> I get tired easily. Like, honestly, like, just me walking from our room to the bathroom, I'm, like, huffing and puffing, like, oh, my God. Whew you know <laughs> but um yeah besides me getting tired easily like I'm, I'm pretty good like and I'm so thankful for that because I've heard horror stories about people being pregnant and luckily that just was not my experience honestly um like I said the first trimester I was you know <laughs> vomiting and I was um I, I low energy I just I could barely get up like I was really just pretty much depressed honestly too because I just couldn't do anything you know but after those 16 weeks man never felt better <laughs> well I've definitely felt better I'm not gonna hold you but I'm just saying like it was it was really smooth for me like I really have no complaints like I really can't complain because I was pretty much chilling <laughs> and my job like I said has been super chill about me being well we, we were working like more remote um there's not really much going on in the summer for us I, you know so from like I would say late May to like late August it's pretty much a slow season for us besides June where we have like summer programs come in but even still like it's pretty slow so I didn't really have to go into work that much I didn't really have to do a lot and I, I didn't have to go into work I didn't have to do much work it was just chill <laughs> I had a pretty great summer like it was pretty hot but I was inside really most of the time to be honest because one, I just didn't feel like going out, and two, like, it's nothing really for me to do being pregnant anyway. So, and we don't really have a car, so, you know, I was just chilling, honestly. And now I'm in my third trimester, and, um, like I said, besides me feeling heavy, I'm chilling, <laughs> you know? So, definitely grateful for that, because I know that's not everybody's experience, so, you know thank the man up above for real truly i do every day because it could have been worse and it, it actually was was pretty great so for my first time like i'd say it's like a seven out of ten experience <laughs> so yeah so that's 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 great and so um me being close to you know popping this baby out we did end up having a baby shower and um, that turned out to be awesome. 
<laughs> like I really couldn't have asked for a better baby shower. Like shout out to everybody who came through um, and shout out to everybody who supported us um, with gifts or with your presence. Like we truly appreciate it from the bottom of my heart. I know that we feared that we wouldn't really have that much support, but from those who really showed up for us, like you guys really made our made our days, honestly. So shout out to y'all, shout out to, again, everybody who came out, everybody who continues to support us as well too. So yeah, it was really beautiful. Like we got a bunch of gifts off our baby registry, um, even in person too, so. We're pretty much set like we have pretty much everything that we need to kind of like start off <laughs> um so we're just extremely blessed and truly fortunate to have such um supportive people in our lives um and yeah we just we couldn't be more grateful so yeah but the baby shower in and of itself it started off as kind of like a nightmarish situation where we thought that you know the the stylist that we hired the event planner I would say um, wasn't really that responsive and you know we just felt like we were doing her job for her in a sense where we were just telling her I just I guess what it really comes down to is that we just felt like we were doing most of the planning, which I get it. Like you should tell people exactly what you want and how you want it so that they can execute what you want. But it just got to a point where we were just like, I don't know, it just felt too hard, too difficult. Like we were doing way too much, honestly, but I'm glad we did <laughs> because she was able to execute our vision um, to the best of her ability and it turned out great. Um, 10 out of 10 to be honest I, I'd say um, so we went with like a pink Caribbean theme situation and it was just beautiful it was great and shout out to my sister-in-law soon to be sister-in-law Angie for getting the desserts for us truly appreciate it the desserts were amazing okay shout out to um, I don't know her name Damn. Anyway, shout out to the person who um, made our desserts. They were delicious, okay? Everybody loved them. Shout out to um, my soon-to-be mother-in-law. Okay, so she cooked some of the food that we had there. We also did catering, so we had her fix a few dishes. Um, my fiance's mom fixed a few dishes and then we catered the rest and everybody loved the food it was literally gone <laughs> by the end of the event so clearly people liked it um, we had um, like a Haitian Caribbean like mix um, with like soul food so yeah it was it was it was nice and the drinks we had like a few custom drinks we had like a blue Hawaiian we had pina colada we had um, an Aruba Ariba custom drinks that people really seem to like truly love and enjoy and of course we had the shots <laughs> you know with the with the Haitian rum okay so we, we we had it we had it going on and not to mention that we we hosted this from like 8 p.m. to 1 a.m. so it was really like a, a baby bash not really a baby shower okay so <laughs> we was turning up in there and um, the vibes was immaculate like like the people who showed up really showed out and, and really came with the vibe so we appreciate y'all for real for real so yeah the baby shower went off well uh, it was a, it was a success honestly like again couldn't ask for a better baby shower um, and yeah that was just awesome <laughs> um, and so last but not least right um to top it all off the cherry on top uh i ended up doing a photo shoot so i did a maternity shoot literally today today is september 5th um and i we literally just came back probably like two hours ago um and yeah 
that was an interesting experience. So I got my, what, what did I get done? I got my makeup done, okay? We had like four different looks that we did, okay? It was like one like silk situation, like drape situation. There was one, um, uh, me sitting on the couch, kind of like a prima donna type of look. There was um, <laughs> like a like a, a a Mary situation, and then there was like the one like the '90s look. Now I know I'm not doing any of these justice. I'll put pictures up so you guys can like see the type of or, or videos up so you guys can see like what it is that it was about. But just know that the pictures are gonna hit okay the pictures are gonna hit all right that's all i know okay and so i just decided to do a maternity shoot because why not like it's my first kid like why not celebrate my pregnancy especially my first one so yeah y'all so who so yeah that has been <laughs> my nine months of Jan of 2024 y'all like it was very eventful it was a lot going on and um yeah i did the best i can like of recording and stuff i mean but i didn't really post anything to be honest just because i just wasn't really feeling up to it but I recently hit a hundred uh, a thousand subscribers on YouTube so um, I actually hit the, that a thousand subscribers the day of my baby shower so I took that as a sign to be like yo like I gotta get back into YouTube yo like I gotta get back doing doing my thing on here you know what I'm saying cuz clearly y'all like the content and I love recording my memories you know i kind of like archiving my life you know just to look back on because you know these times and these 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 moments are special and as we grow older our memory becomes you know foggy or faulty and i want to be able to relive this experience as or my experiences as as long as i can you know and i want to share this with my future generations <laughs> you know like this is what your mom did this is what your grandmother did this is what your great-grandmother did you know so yeah y'all so thank y'all for subscribing and if you're not subscribed thank you for watching um but yeah as i said like a lot has been going on a lot has happened and things are gonna look a lot different for 2025 like i'm gonna have a seed i'm gonna have a whole kid like <laughs> which is crazy like i still can't believe that i'm pregnant and i'm about to have a kid for real but it's happening and yeah y'all are gonna be able to you know live this journey with me or experience this journey with me so i'm looking forward to that um and I can't wait to share it with y'all so yeah so just to recap just to throw it all out there just so you could just see just how crazy my 2024 has been how eventful actually it has been i got a promotion um i went to aruba i found out i was pregnant <laughs> i went to jamaica i got engaged <laughs> Um, I had a gender reveal, I had a baby shower, and then I had a photo shoot to kind of wrap it all up. So yeah, y'all, it's, it had been a lot. It, it has been a lot. Um, but I'm, I'm truly grateful. Like nothing but good things have happened to me in 2024 and I'm excited to see what 2025 has in store for me <laughs> honestly so stay tuned and yeah I'll see you all soon next time you see me I'm probably gonna have a, a kid <laughs> well I will have a kid so yeah so anyways y'all I'll see y'all in the next video and yeah thanks for listening Thanks for possibly subscribing. 
And yeah, I'll see you later.